I'm really, really glad I waited to play Modern Warfare 3 until now. It was a free trial weekend for the multiplayer the last few days. I had no idea that was happening, except for you all, the viewers who told me in the comments. So thank you. I had a ton of fun playing this game and so much fun. I bought it on sale while the little like $45 sale was going on. Probably never would have bought this thing at 70 bucks. It's a lot of money. That's why I skipped it in the first place last fall. But I was shocked. I, I honestly, I thought it was going to be a very different experience, that it wasn't going to run great on my system, that I wasn't going to have fun. And all of that, no, I had a ton of fun. This has been super duper chill. Now, a quick background, if you're new uh, to the channel or new-ish, I upload a lot of uh, FPS games here, Titanfall 2, Battlefront, PUBG, lots of variety stuff, Battlefield in there, but at the core, it's been Halo. This, this channel actually started with Black Ops 1 and Halo Reach. And Halo is my like true love. I love that franchise so much. But as somebody who plays Halo Infinite, you know, the last few weeks have been interesting. We've got the new network update. That's kind of hit or miss. And then also the new easy anti-cheat. And that's like big time miss. There are so many people who have gotten through that anti-cheat and we haven't had a first like ban wave happening. So this is this is a good time to be trying something else out. And I've been craving another controller FPS game. I mainly mouse and keyboard for everything. I switched back to controller for Halo about six months ago just because I was I mainly play ranked. And ranked on Infinite is more fun on a controller in my opinion. And so Call of Duty is a game that I, I have enjoyed. I have played off and on pretty much the entire lifespan of this channel. Like literally Black Ops 1 is one of my most played FPS games. It's actually why I started the channel. It was mainly Black Ops 1 videos back in the day. And since then, I've dipped my toe in the water with different COD games, but I really haven't enjoyed or played a COD game a ton since like Black Ops 1 or Black Ops 2, I should say. Modern Warfare 3 was super, super nice. It ran great on my old CPU, which is an i7-7700K, and the maps, especially for like the free players, there was like the small map mosh pit, which were all these tiny three-lane maps, emergency, which was a great COD map, like super three lanes, super old school, spawns didn't feel crazy. One of my main complaints with like Modern Warfare 2019 was that spawn system and, and the maps, okay? Like the maps had so many vantage points. They were incomprehensible. So many little hidey holes where the three lane design just straight up works. And as a Halo player, I'm kind of shocked because all we really hear about is the COD players sort of upset, right? This year's game's not good, content's bad, we gotta wait for the next one. And I, I'm over here just sort of like, pinch me, I must be dreaming. There's so much to do. You've got the free battle royale, which is solid, pretty fun. And then you've got the multiplayer mode. You've got camos that you can unlock by just straight up playing the game. I, don't, I never thought we'd be at this point, but literally it's madness. As somebody who's been in the infinite world for a while now, in-game challenges that you actually get to work towards completion and goals just by playing the game. In, in contrast, if you're wondering, you don't have commendations in Halo Infinite. You, you don't have these things that you go and you earn. It's all shop-based, right? Other than the battle pass, which great, anybody can grind through the battle pass and get those skins. But when you see somebody with a mastery camo in MW3 or whatever, you like, you know what they went through to get that. And those are those cool sub objectives that just power so much fun. The other thing I, I found crazy, the social side of the game, and this, this is totally hit or miss, but here you are in the pre lobby of the game. You can see who's in the lobby and you can hear them. And no joke on the COD side, people still have their mics plugged in. People still are talking to each other. Now what they're saying to each other, that has not changed. I can tell you what, since Black Ops would, the language and the words of the things that I heard over this weekend, that still is very much like old school Xbox 360 days where I, there was all sorts of nasty things that were said. Not in all of the games, but it was nice for the first time in how long in an FPS game to literally hear smack talk at the end of a match. The proximity death chat. When you kill somebody, you can hear their open mic for just a few seconds, if they have, you know, their mic open or whatever. There's nothing more satisfying than just stomping somebody 
and then hearing them for, like the frustration the rage on the other end there's something so cool and you're reminded you're not just playing a bot on the other side there's other people it's this experience you know now skill-based matchmaking it's present it's there and uh yeah I, I mean it doesn't really bother me that much i'm sure if i've i've played like 50 hours it would where you get that good lobby and then you know it's going to be painful like for <laughs> the next four or five matches but again like the main thing i play in halo infinite is ranked i go in wanting to like give it my all to try and improve and it is sort of relaxing even when you're getting dunked on and you're playing against a full lobby of like really good players and i'm, I'm trash at mw3 i really want to learn like how to get good at cod again um it doesn't bother me it feels like a, a chill experience in contrast my rank isn't dropping i've got nothing on the line it's literally like i'm pushing my goals of unlocking more gear more weapons more attachments and stuff to try out and then of course more camos to go and get completion for overall it was it was a wild experience and i ended up buying modern warfare 3. Uh, i probably like i said i wouldn't have bought it at 70 bucks the little 45 dollars sale that was going on it, it had me intrigued and it did enough to where i was like yo i i can see getting 100 or 200 hours of playtime out of this multiplayer mode and playing with friends and that sounds really cool also the competitive side is very interesting i started getting back interested in cod because of the miami major that just happened and literally watching the comp players go at it it looked fun so part of what i want to do is learn how to play cod again work my way up until the point where I could start playing some ranked. And I think that would be a very cool experience to go through as a lifelong Halo player. Sort of experience and see what things are like because there are some cracked players on this game. And the movement tech, there's a lot to learn in a big skill ceiling. And I think that is a draw for any FPS player. If the game is fun, it's got skill expression and creativity involved, and you enjoy it, man, there's nothing stickier than that. I would be very curious. I know over the years, tons of Halo players play COD. It's always been the skiing versus snowboarding debate, and I'll be honest, Halo always, in my mind, it's got that skillful dance, the battle. It's like fencing, man. It's such a sweet, cool, unique thing. But alongside of it, COD is a ton of fun too, and I know a lot of my Halo friends back in the day also played Call of Duty. So I am very interested in knowing how many of you still play COD or have an interest in it? And if so, any tips for me for trying to learn this after somebody who hasn't really touched the series all that much uh, since Black Ops 1? I mean, truly, I did do the yearly release thing. I would dip in and play like 50, 60 hours of a title, but never like 15 or 16 days or whatever stupid number that I put into Blops 1. There is something nice about waiting and skipping the nonsense, the patch issues, the optimization stuff, and just getting a game after it's had its legs under it for a little bit. And once again, thank you, the viewers, for telling me about the free weekend and letting me know about this. If you enjoyed the video, please like it. If you enjoy FPS content like this, subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a really good week ahead, and we'll see you again very soon.